Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 9th, 2023. Well, my goodness, Friday turned out to be quite an exciting day after the jobs data came out much stronger than expected and opening the door for more rate increases. That also spiked um, bond yields to the highest level on the year and then we co quickly decided to reverse that um, with this um, huge short squeeze that came in pushing us up sharply in the markets but doggone it do you think we could hold that and maybe follow through today looks like we have a little bit of downside starting this morning because of the new conflict um, and the declaration of war from Israel um, and the uncertainty that that brings to the market is adding additional pressures here this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, my goodness, we have a week of data that could keep us very, very volatile, a lot of uncertainty in the market. So how about we take a look at these index charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, one of the things I want to mention is we've got bond yields rising again this morning, and we have this... Um, situation where about not, well over 90 percent of the companies are now within their blackout period which means that they're unable to do buybacks there's going to be the uh, the very high potential of anemic volume this week with bursts of incredible volatility and i'll explain that in a second let's take a look at these charts if you take a look at the diamonds we had a really good day here on friday i'm going to grab this line and push this away just a little bit we had a really good day on friday after making a new low just a few ticks lower here um, in the diamonds and then just a really sharp short squeeze reversal to the upside pushing us right into this next re resistance level of the chart now if the bulls could can continue to push on through there let's look for a break of this level to the upside and see if we can maybe push up into the next levels of price resistance in the chart now obviously we um, are pulling back pretty sharply this morning futures have recovered from overnight lows after the concerns of the new uh, conflict going on um, but we'll see if we um, have that uh, energy here to continue to push that short squeeze or if we end up reversing here on the day unfortunately oil prices are spiking um, again this morning again those bond prices are higher bond yields are higher so quite a lot of pressure here and uncertainty on the market and if the bears were to push on through well let's see if we can retest this level right in here first if that area holds, we're probably in good shape. If that were to fail, then we might move on down retesting some of these levels here in the chart and potentially even moving as far as this next support level in the diamonds chart. Now, keeping in mind, if we take a look at our moving averages, what we did on Friday was rally up and we just tested that 500 day moving average before we backed away into the close and ended up closing right around the eight exponential moving average. As you can see, we're still well below our 200 day. Our short term moving averages are moving down pretty quickly. It's entirely possible earlier uh, sometime this week that we'll have that 34 exponential moving average crossing down through the 200 here um, relatively soon. Let's take a look at our SPY now. SPY had a super good day. Once again, I'm going to grab this line and push that away for a second. And you can see we pushed up sharply. The good news is uh, we didn't make a new low here. We came close within a few ticks, uh, pushed back up and shoved right up here into this resistance level of the chart before backing away just before the close so if the bulls can find inspiration today in the day, data and push on up let's see if we can push through this level here in the chart and if they can get up through there well you can see we've got a little bit of 
um, intermediate resistance levels that we'll have to be watching before we can push back up and retest this level in the chart. But if the bears were to find inspiration today, and you can see we're moving um, lower here this morning already, pushing down, then let's see if we can hold this level of price support if those bears uh, find that inspiration. And if they are able to push down through there, let's look for a retest of this area down in here. If it were to get really bad, we could push right down into this level. And once again, I wanted to mention here on the S&P 500 that we didn't quite make it to that 200 day moving average. So we cannot rule out the possibility being this close to that 200 day moving average. If the bears find inspiration that we could see that area still here in the chart. Let's take a look. Um, push this back into that area there. We broke this little downtrend resistance with that good push to the upside. So if we can break this downtrend and hold this as a higher low, that would be bullish for the market and may actually give us that upside trend here in um, in the SPY. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ was the best of the day yes, on Friday with big tech doing most of the lifting to the upside. But those tech giants really took off as a short squeeze um, gained momentum. And you can see we broke this downtrend and we also broke through this resistance and we held it into the close. So that's significant. If we can continue to push on through to the upside, notice that our next resistance level would be all the way back up into here where we kind of run into a heavy resistance area and downtrend. If the bears were to find inspiration, you can see we're pulling back here just a little bit this morning in here. We've got bond yields moving up. If they continue to find uh, that bearish inspiration, you can see there's a little bit of price support right through this area right here. So watch that carefully. A push down into there would not be too much of a surprise. If that were to fail, then I would suggest we could come a little bit lower. You can see we've got this price support level in the chart right here. Maybe test in there. And once again, if that were to fail, well, perhaps we come all the way back down here and retest some of the lows. Now, if that were the case, if we did push back in here, remember we broke this little downtrend. So if we could hold, if we can hold a higher low, that could bring in those bulls here. So watch that carefully. We do want to make mention of the fact that we are still below our 50 day moving average. And uh, the QQQ remains the strongest of the indexes. Those rising bond yields could be a problem here if that continues, however. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also had a good day, but honestly, wasn't super impressed in the move to the upside. We didn't quite make it down here to this price support level. So if the bulls can continue to push through, let's see if we can get back above this resistance area in the chart, maybe move up into this downtrend, um, some further resistance areas to see if they can test up in there and follow through. If the bears, however, find inspiration today, we really couldn't rule out the possibility of a retest of these lows and then maybe even testing the support area in the chart on the IWM. Clearly, we're, we are the most bearish um, here in the Russell, and you can certainly see that the 50-day moving average is coming down, will likely close down below the 200-day this week. 34 EMA has made that move some time ago, so very bearish here in the IWM. But the only thing we can say here is we're very oversold and a relief rally should be on the way here in some period of time uh, if we can get past some of these data points. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX really responded heavily on that short squeeze yesterday, pushing uh, on Friday, pushing down through this level of price support. But I want you to pay attention in here if we, uh, we've we broken that downtrend here in the chart and we still have that potential of this uptrend. And with that new con geopolitical concern that we're dealing with this morning, bonds rising and oil rising, 
we might just hold on to this upside trend and push back up creating that next higher low and that might bring in a little bit of fear or even panic into the market if the bears push hard enough so watch that close let's take a look at our uh, t21 the T2122 indicator, it, uh, whoops, let's get T2122. There we go. T2122 indicator made a really nice move. We would, we've been talking about overdue for a relief rally. We got that in spades on, on Friday with a push up. Sorry, that's a two day chart. Let me fix that. Um, with a push up strongly here on the day we ended up coming up here uh, closing the day around 30 percent in the chart which means we still have plenty of upside opportunity if the bulls can find inspiration but unfortunately with the new concerns new geopolitical issues out there that we're dealing with we also have to recognize the fact that we have opened a downside opportunity as well if those bears were to push in. So watch that carefully here if that were to occur. If we take a look at our T2108, here's where um, you could really kind of scream from the mountaintops that this was nothing more than a relief rally on Friday because you can see we did come up here in our t t2108 but when you think about the the huge price moves that we made in the market but we really didn't see this improve all that much in fact this is still in a downtrend and we didn't quite make it even up into that resistance area of the chart not really all that impressive. So what the, we didn't probably have an awful lot of buying on Friday. We probably had an awful lot of short covering as everyone was trying to capture the short gains to protect themselves for the rally that was happening. So watch that closely. If the bears were to come in today and really start pushing to the downside, we could see this reverse, maybe even make some new lows if that were to push through. If the bulls find inspiration, we need to see this get a little bit more impressed than what we saw on Friday and more than just short covering, pushing us higher. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 was largely unimpressed as you can see here pushing up into the chart we couldn't even break back up through these resistance levels we are clearly still in a downtrend here in t2107 so we need some kind of follow through here we need to see some actual buying coming in other than just short covering and so far um, not so much here so watch that carefully today and then our t2101 Unfortunately, T2101 was actually breaking through this downtrend. To, it was pushing um, early in the day when we were selling off and hit new lows. The breadth of the market was pushing through this area uh, of this trend. And then when the bulls came in and started covering and pushing back up, I want you to notice what happened here in T2101. We actually hooked over, which suggests that all of a sudden that breadth was dropping and again it was probably because of the short squeeze happening in here and not any real actual buying coming in so this morning with this uncertainty this new conflict we'll want to watch this pretty closely but it, because if we see that spike back up on fear we could break that area here in uh, t2101 if the bulls follow through and we see that breath continuing to decline back that's a problem for the bulls here we'll want to watch that closely and it may be possible that be could be the case even on a rally and that's just simply because over 90 percent of the companies are in their blackout period meaning they can't really do anything to um, inspire buyers in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar well we don't have a whole lot on that calendar to get um the market too excited today. We've got uh, some Fed speak in here uh, going on. We've got investor movement um, index, which um, nobody's going to care about. 
and that's kind of it for the day. Um, and if we look at the earnings calendar, there is nothing on the earnings calendar here today to provide that inspiration. So we're going to likely key in on things like the rising oil prices, what the bond yields do, and any of the news surrounding how things are going over there uh, between Israel and Hamas. So watch that carefully here today. Not a whole lot going on. Um, you can um, see that we've got more Fed speak here on Tuesday with not much else in here, but some bond auctions to be concerned with on Tuesday. And then it's going to get exciting. We're going to start off Wednesday with a PPI inflation number. Obviously, those mortgage applications. We've got more Fed speak. We're going to get a 10 year note auction. And then we've got the FOMC minutes coming on Wednesday. So, right up through all of this, we could be very quiet until this kicks off and it could set off a um, huge amount of volatility on those numbers depending on how they come out. We're going to follow that up on Thursday with the CPI report, jobless claims, which have been problematic for us here, and petroleum status, natural gas, some more Fed speak, some more bond auctions to be going on on Thursday. And we're going to wrap up the week here with import export prices, more Fed speak, and some consumer sentiment. So watch those areas closely here today. Pretty dead and boring with um, the potential of some really big bursts of volatility. You also want to make note that Friday this week, we will kick off fourth quarter earnings with big bank reports. So there's going to be a lot of uncertainty around that as well. So watch this week closely. It could be wild and crazy. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And remember, even an emoji counts as a um, engagement with the video. So thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. And also, I want to say thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video you guys are truly truly awesome let's take a look at some of these charts remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact with the wild um, gyrations that we could see this week I would suggest everyone keep their eyes out for whipsaws big reversals big point moves um, gaps this week um, about anything as possible. So consider that carefully when you consider your risk, making sure that you're following your trading rules and your risk tolerances for your positions. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, first off, let's take a look at a couple in here. Uh, Pfizer, I placed a price alert in here and Pfizer continued to sell off last week and looking down here in the chart. But one thing I will say is Pfizer's um, so oversold here in the chart. We're pushing into some support levels. Um, I would keep an eye on this if we can find that love here in the market and start to push back up. I, I felt a whole lot better about this going into Friday than I do this morning, but keep a close eye on that. Take a look at CLF. Now I have a bias here in CLF because I am holding this position and CLF had a really great move there on Friday pushing up there's that higher low holding in here on support we're getting a pullback here this morning because of that uncertainty that cropped up this weekend watch that closely but this is still holding in a nice bullish pattern um, and it is interesting that this is occurring when we're seeing such a strong dollar and those bond yields the way they are but watch that closely CLF has broken this downtrend may have some more upside in it Keep an eye on that. I like this potential inverted head and shoulders pattern in here as well that I'm keeping a close eye on. You also might want to keep an eye on U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel's been holding up very strongly here. 
moving in this upside trend. Notice that we're finding a little bit of price support in here. We're holding in this level along that trend. So I would watch that closely for that next opportunity that that could pop on higher, stretch on up here to that next resistance level in the chart. So keep an eye on US Steel. Um, Rivian, boy, Rivian, I mentioned Rivian um, this week as, golly, this was turning back into a good chart. We, we bounced down and, uh, and then bounced up and came back down and tested support and then all of a sudden the buyers really come in here and then big ugly news here on Rivian and they tank this to the downside again so what <laughs> what I would do Rivian is trying uh, raising a whole lot more debt trying to uh, continue to pay their bills so watch that carefully in here um, any rally back now may set up that short opportunity to the downside. So watch that closely there on Rivian. Not looking so good overall. If we take a look at some of the areas here in oil, I'm going to go to XLE. XLE spiking back up here this morning on this uncertainty that came in this weekend. This was really falling apart and now we see that oil spiking back up here. Let's watch this area right in here carefully. If we were to get a fail in here, that could be a nice short. If we break through and hold up here, well, watch for some more opportunity to the upside here on energy, if that's going to be the case. Um, anything is possible, and there are some stocks out there um, starting to show um, that bullishness coming back here into that sector. Um, obviously, these have been really beat down but really a, a pushback up here breaking back through some resistance areas that we'll want to be watching here in the market um, APA coming back this EQT continues to be very strong with a W formation in here that's a very very bullish pattern showing up and we're showing an awful lot of strength coming into this stock considering um, the rest of the sector notice we're kind of creeping out from underneath that uh, uh, downtrend any higher low in here may set up a nice upside opportunity here in EQT I would watch that one closely um, if we take a look at some of retail boy um, retail really struggling in here now failed hard here on Walmart notice we're moving in this downtrend here so I think any rally back now on retail there's that concern of the consumer um, credit cards are kind of tapped out and we're seeing the consumer really suffering right now so watch that carefully if we were to rally back up into any of these resistance levels for that next opportunity short also we're seeing just tremendous damage in the consumer staple sector if we take a look at stocks like Kohl's just really pushing down now the only thing I can say positive on something like Kohl's is we could be coming into some support here soon so watch that carefully if we start to bounce but my goodness Campbell soup breaking on down through lows coke has just hammered lower Pepsi uh, looking terrible here so I think any rally back in these sectors I would be watching for that next opportunity short as well uh, keep a close eye on that one bright spot in the energy sector uh, and I have a bias on this as well is I'm holding a position here on uh, natural gas and that Australian strike going on in natural gas has really surged UNG higher here watch that carefully trying to push on up here this morning again it's a little bit odd to see any commodity moving up with such a strong dollar but that's what we've got going on there in UNG so watch I wouldn't chase it here um, what I want to see at this point is a higher low push on up break that resistance wonderful hold that area as support and then I would look for that next opportunity to the upside if it breaks back down through that level I won't be as excited about it but I'll still want to see that hold some support hold a higher level in that chart on natural gas so watch that carefully so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day this could be an interesting week be prepared for just about anything so be careful, be safe, and I'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the very best.